Hello friends, I am Dr. Saurabh Shavastava. We will be discussing something about the Zoom meetings which we normally hold in day-to-day -day life nowadays because Zoom has been found to be the most useful and used, mostly used application nowadays for hosting various video conferences and the meetings in a classroom or with the colleagues in the office space also. So we will talk not about every aspect of Zoom because when people are using it, many of the people are knowing about all the things. But taking a class as per the teacher is concerned, teacher should know how to host a meeting, how to make controls on the participants, how to control the audio and video aspects of the Zoom meeting and how to secure the meeting. So we'll be talking about these aspects only. So when we start a new meeting, what happens, a new window will open up and it will say something about yeah joining with computer audio is there we have to do it then we can say that there are certain options which are present over here <coughs> sorry we can see that we can mute our speaker also which uh, should be muted for the participants it is there in the settings where we have any participant entering the meet chat room or the meeting room has his or her video and audio both or either of them muted which can be allowed by the host they can unmute it or start the video themselves but many a times distractions are there and uh, the host does not want the audio or the video to be opened up or unmuted till the time the meeting is over so when we have to see the security settings there are certain settings like locking up the meeting enabling the waiting room share screen chat and renaming the participants then in participants window when we see we have we get a list of participants which we have to invite if somebody is not there an invitation can be given as a copied link or a zoom link then muting all and unmuting all is also present in this only so there is a chat window which opens up where chat to everyone is there and chat to individual persons who have joined the meeting if there is a list of list which is populated over here we can see we can have their names also in this and we can have a chat or distribution of various files from our computer or the cloud to the participants over here then then we see the share screen options what are, are available so we can share the screen by the host only or multiple participants can share the screen simultaneously in advanced sharing options we have the same things but when we share the screen then we have to see what all things we want to share either we want to share the screen itself whatever is present on the screen or we want a whiteboard which is to be shared and we write with a pen and various materials just like we write on a whiteboard in the classroom that can be shared iPhone or iPad can be shared it's a screen then we can share any part of the screen also then we have certain presentations which we can share, share if they are open on the browser or the explorer windows but in this share option we have to click share computer sound and optimize the screen sharing for video clip these are important because many times when we are presenting with our powerpoint presentations and we have inserted certain videos in the powerpoint the videos they do not run properly whenever there is powerpoint presentation and it is being shared we want to run the video that do not run properly in the sense that the audio is not there for the audience the audio is not shared because the share computer sound is not checked in so it has to be checked in to get the audio to the audience or the people who are there in the meeting room some advanced settings are there where a part of the screen and music or computer sound only can be shared and sometimes files can be shared from the cloud so sharing this when we share it we get a screen share of the entire screen certain options are there we can see in the, at the top which are present over there then these options have to be explored 
far. Annotations. What annotations can we see? If we click on the annotation option and on the share screen, we can scratch certain things. And these things may be pointers, may be highlighters, or may be just scratching. It can be reversed or cleared. Clear all drawings. Then these annotations can be crossed and we can move on to the next option where the three dot menu is there. It is showing that we have a chat option also over here where every chat is being shown on the screen. Then we have breakout rooms. Breakout rooms is actually not available in the free version of the Zoom but the upgraded version since the upgraded version has been given free for a certain amount of months or certain months we can use these breakout rooms right now up till I think November or December it is available in this 2020. We can record our meeting from here also. We, will, we can disable the participants annotation just like the annotation which I told you just now we can disable the participants annotation in this. After disabling the annotations no other person can scratch or strike anywhere on the screen which is quite often annoying if we do some presentation and somebody puts an annotation over there. Then if somebody is participating or doing some annotation then we can show the person who can annotate. Then meeting controls can be hide, hid also then computer sound has to be shared and optimized for full screen view. Okay. Then in the record option, it will record all the things which are set in this meeting. And it will be saved at the time when we leave the meeting room, not before that. So we can stop sharing now. Now after stopping the share option, the record button is also there. The chat room breakup is also there. Ha, reactions. Reactions which are present not to the person who is sharing but to the audience. The audience can have a clap reaction as well as a thumbs up reaction. So these reactions can be given by the audience to make the lecture or the class more interesting and interactive. So this is this much is all with these icons which are present on the screen and uh, uh, I have told in between how to allow or control the participants first one which I told you it is the muting all the participants so the disturbance is not there then enabling the waiting room area also controls the participants we come to know which participant we have to admit or not locking the meeting room area is making our meeting room secure then share screen option is not allowed usually to all the participants. Chat can be allowed to all the participants. They can be allowed to rename themselves. Then we can see that in this option where we are uh, sharing the files in the chat options, we can share the files and from this option only we can share the files. There is a three dot menu also which shows that the participant chat can also be controlled fully. So in this case we can have a good control of the participant in some cases where we do not know that which participant has got some mischievous activity done in this Zoom meeting. So for that thing it is a suggestion that every meeting has to be recorded because in the recording and after the meeting ends the data which is recorded it can be saved both as an audio file as well as a video file. So in the audio file we can assess and come upon a conclusion that which person is the mischief monger over there. Hope so. So many of the uh, precautions which we take over here can be helpful in conducting a zoom meeting. So we can end the meeting for all and move back to our place. Now thank you.